Now we're going to talk about draping. That is, if I can get this. Hey, you, Stasi! Ya visu, suka! That's a real cat. That's an Austrian spy cat. You know what I just caught this cat doing? I caught him speaking German to this. I don't, I don't know what happened. Who's over here talking to this cat? See? That cat looks realer than the other. I, I snuck around the corner and that East German Stasi little spy bitch was talking to this cat in German. East German! So we're going to make some videos on that. Anyway, now let me show you how to professionally drape. Remember that I put my tape up so now I'm thinking ahead so I can get I can take it off easy too. Get out of there. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Get. And remember we've got an edge all the way around. Okay? Now you would you, you you wouldn't really cover this if you didn't need to. So if you're spraying or something like that, I do it because I want to. But the point is I want to show you how pros do it and make it easy. So we have a continuous tape line. And remember, I started my tape line right here. I went up, overlapped there, kept going, 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 and it overlapped all the way over there. Because remember, this is seven or eight feet tall. And when I go to pull this tape right here from ground level, from down here then when I pull that tape it's going to pull all this tape one continuous there's three pieces of tape up there but it's going to pull it all the way over and all the way down so I don't have to get up on a ladder and fuck around with it up there all right now I've got the plastic at the length I want leave yourself about six inches off of one side and then slowly Come over. Cat's been playing with this. Damn it. And what you do is you tuck it underneath. See? You tuck it underneath with two hands. You go all the way around and you tuck it under. And what that does is this you'll know that the plastic has covered everything. You already have your continuous uh, line right up here that's not been bothered. And when you go to pull the tape, here the plastic will come right with it. But that's what we call tucking. You can see underneath here. You want to leave out, you can do this with white or green tape, whatever you want to use. But you get about an eighth of an inch up here, stuck in between the ceiling and the wood there to get your nice tight line for the paint. Then the rest of it you leave open like this. You leave that open like that so you can tuck the plastic underneath it. But it's very hard to do one-handed. Now see, I'm up on a ladder right now. And, what are you looking at? I put a little bit of green tape around the top over here. Remember that when you're, you're painting, gravity does work for you in a way. Paint, generally, if it drips, will drip directly off the brush or roller and go in a straight line straight down. So if you are, if you have a, a, a half an inch covered your top beam here like I do over here and up here, then you're not going to get it on here. And if you do, then you just keep a wet rag with you. But I want to make this as easy as possible and use as less materials so that I can use whatever strength I have at 50 years old and, and do a really, really good job. All right, I'm going to continue um, masking this draping. It's called draping. It's nine foot plastic. I'll just go along every two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet, and I'll drape it all the way to the end, and I'll drape it all the way down. Cover it'll cover all this crap right in here. That my what are you doing? Come here, cat. Yeah, you. Come here. I know you're trying to act normal. I know you're a spot cat. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Look. Here you go. Joke on that, you little bitch. Go get it. Boom! See, that's the way I gotta get this cat. Put a little bit of... What are you looking at? All right, now we're off to painting. All the rooms are done except for 
the wife's room she wants to do last and my office and this laundry room.